Welcome back to 3D Printing News, a place where we talk all things 3D. Our first story, Relativity Space has launched its first 3D printed rocket, and the results are mixed. The Turan-1 vehicle successfully lifted off Wednesday, but failed to reach orbit after the second stage engine ignited momentarily. This was the third attempt, and as the saying goes, the third time's the charm because we had liftoff? Either way, RS is going to be releasing an update in the next coming days, and they feel excited about their progress. One small step for mankind, one giant leap for printers. Guys, it's that time. It's that shameless promotion time. If you haven't heard, we are live at 3dprintprototypes.com. What is it? We manufacture 3D printed parts with thousands of prototypes produced to date. We're proud to be Canadian based, globally serving 160 countries. We built a reputation as a leader in rapid, versatile prototyping. Our customers benefit from an extensive array of 3D printed services, including FFF, FDM, resin, SLA, SLS, multi-jet, full color sandstone, and metal. Check it out and contact us at 3dprintprototypes.com. Our next story, have you found yourself being limited in 3D modeling because you're still using your mom's laptop from 2003? Well, those days are over thanks to WAMP, a brand new browser-based software with the goal of bringing 3D modeling to everyone, regardless of your hardware or your skill. The software relies on streamlined UI that stays away from the typical complex interfaces and steep learning curves you'll find on other modeling software. A recent press release says, if it can run Netflix, it can run WAMP. So stop using your hardware as an excuse for why you can't model. And for our last story, a picture is worth a thousand prints. Raspberry Pi has released a new camera and it's only $50. And for that price point, there's a lot to like about it. The global shutter camera is based around the Sony 1.6 megapixel IMX296. This is extremely valuable for machine vision as the large pixel size allows for better real-time processing. That's it for today. Back to you, Bob.